Welcome to this Windows and Computer channel and uh, this is a quick look at the latest build of the April 2019 update build 18342 for the insider previews that was released uh, yesterday February the 20th been testing it out all day today it works pretty well so we um, are wondering what's new what uh, has changed or not in here uh, one of the first things to note is that there really isn't that much new stuff in here. The other thing is, uh, like I said in the last Insider Preview, we'll start looking one by one at each of these um, builds that we now will have, since there's not a lot of stuff in there. We'll focus on one of the new items in every video, so that you'll have at least something to look for and if you're wondering what's new. There's always going to be something new to talk about. So first of all, the install went probably very well because it happened during the night while I was sleeping. Uh, and this morning, well, I was in build 18.342 for this uh, 19H1 build. The build itself seems to go pretty well. There's no problems for me. Everything is all right and everything is uh, just working great. Now, one note, if you have um, a Intel 64 Family 6 Model 142 or Intel 64 Family 6 Model 158 processor, you're not getting this build. So if you don't see it, maybe you're getting that, um, you have that processor on your PC um, and they're not updating for you because of a problem with uh, the hardware. Um, you can check out the uh, device manager to know if uh, you're one of those uh, people with that type of uh, processor. Uh, once again, improved gaming. So some of you last time said you had a lot of problems and a lot of you really, um, really didn't work well because they want you to actually try State of Decay game. And um, if it worked for you what they want to know now and what they would like you to do is uninstall the state of decay game and if you actually were some of those that it didn't work they want you to um of course they've seen that uh, and 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 fixed a lot of the issues so they want you to go back and go into the insider hub for xbox and check state of decay they've opened more slots if you were one of those that looked at it but didn't do anything so if you want to check it out um you know maybe you want to install try to install the state of decay game and and see if it works for you so uh just go to the xbox insider hub app try to install it uh, again in uh, in the insider content on the upper left and uh, select windows gaming hopefully You'll have it working, maybe, if it didn't work last time. Something new is happening with File Explorer. It now has the capability of going into the WSL or the Windows subsystem for Linux distro. Uh, and uh, you're able, at that point, to actually gain access to that subsystem and see Linux files. So, if you are one of those that want to uh, check it out, uh, you can actually go to the um, WSL um, folder and uh, distro name that you're using, and you should be able to see the, the um, with the File Explorer the file system within the Linux subsystem that you have installed on your machine. So that is a good thing for you guys that are there. Remember, there's a new Chrome extension for Timeline. So now Timeline is also working with an official Microsoft extension. When you go to the Chrome Web Store, you can actually get the web extension, uh, web activity, and all this stuff will appear on your Timeline with Microsoft, uh, with the Google Chrome and Timeline feature, and also continue where you left off. And if you have the Microsoft Launcher app on your Android phone, it will also be the same. You'll be able to see and um, have that working also from your Chrome browser in Android. So uh, very important. I've uh, talked about it uh, on the main channel and uh, it's a nice um, 
a nice new uh, feature for uh, timeline so um, this is pretty nice and it's not just for insiders because here it says update for insiders but it's also available for everybody you don't have to be an insider to have it running I run it on my main October 2018 machine so um, timeline feature there was already a third-party app but now it's uh, on an official Microsoft app so what about uh, today's uh, highlight of a new feature coming with the April 2019 update I've chosen to start with something that a lot of people might find interesting in your settings in your Windows update settings if you go to update and security now that was reserved only to pro and enterprise a home version will now also have pause updates for seven days that means you'll be able to click here and there you go it's now paused and will resume as the date that says there on the top of the screen I have one thing that I haven't tried and I wonder if you um, remove yourself from here and don't check for updates necessarily but it's automatic unfortunately uh, if you would be able to maybe process or try to quickly get another seven days but um, I, I would guess if you disconnect from the internet maybe temporarily so it can check updates but um, as soon as you'll um, have the seven days what's going to happen it's going to force a Windows update and if you want to have your updates back as soon as possible then you click resume updates this will put back the uh, regular updates but it forces a Windows update so that means if there was an update well you're going to get it and so uh, it's going to be difficult to really have more than seven days but at least you got seven days you know uh, that 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 is at least a change compared to the well you had really no choice before so if you don't want to have updates right away you just click pause updates for seven days and uh, you'll have uh, seven days without updates before they are forced on you again so that's uh, coming to a home version also which is nice as it was only for pro and, um, and uh, enterprise and a lot of people on home wanted to have that feature so apart from that uh, build works well uh, I've seen a lot of people saying they've installed it and seems to work okay so um, check it out lots of fixes from last time so uh, really a big big list of uh, fixes I mean it's been almost two weeks now since we had um, the um, when when you had the last build so uh, there's a lot a lot a lot of bug fixes in here still quite a lot of known issues so we can see that we're really far from having some you know official build that will be released and uh, so check it out it's available in uh, fast ring if you haven't done so already uh, seems to work well for me had no problems if you enjoy my videos please subscribe give us thumbs up thank you for watching